Yo, what's up, guys? The way Raven84 here. Josh Man 40. Back for some more Final Fantasy 4. Let's do it. We have Cecil as a paladin now. He looks mm -hmm. uh, quite gorgeous. With yeah. his, it looks like he has purple hair. Um, you said you played uh, Final Dis Dissidia? Is it Final Fantasy Dissidia? Yeah. No. Uh, what do you? You don't remember what he looked like in that one? No. I think he has like silver hair or something. I only play with like Titus. Cause you can pick who you want to play with. Oh, really? I only play with like Titus. I think. I think you pick. Interesting. I, like, cause I, like. I think you maybe you watch some scenes in the beginning, then, oh, okay. then you pick their story, and you can play That's that. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I have one, I want to. If I had a PSP, I'd get that game. It looks fun. It's just cool to see all the characters like in like interact with each other. Yeah, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> if you're a Final Fantasy fan, <clears throat> I think you just go out of here. Yeah. Is it in the inn? Mm, yeah, I think so. Um, in order to go to the next area, we have to have the Baron key, and we have to get that from some guards. I believe they're in here. I think he's upstairs. Yeah, he's in the pub portion of it. There he is. Oh, it's Yang! What the fuck? Where? He's over in the right. Look at him. Oh, I thought it was the white, the red thing. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Yang! Oh, that's... Whoops. <laughs> it's me, Cecil. Do you remember this guy's voice? It's like a goofy. Cecil. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to quote the voice. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. See, it's him. I'm quoting the voice. Battle time, boss time. Let's fucking go. These guys are pretty easy. I think if you just... You can use a fire two on him, whatever. Um, off screen, oh. yeah, don't do that. That wastes like all our magic, I think. Just have her. You can just have her spam the cure. Oh, that's bad. What? He just minied us. Um, use like fire two or something. Oh shit! That's why I don't like playing. Because <laughs> of the lag, it's all slow. I just like go and attack with like fire three or some shit. I keep thinking I'm in. Oh, I see. They counter with piggy and mini. Um, when Palum. Oh, cool. Uh, have him just parry, and then have Palom when his turn comes up use Mini on. They're dead, dude. Are they? Oh, never mind. If they give us a chance off screen before the next thing, then heal him. <laughs> We're off Mini on there. Uh, yeah, have him use Cure Two on himself. That's a good idea. Or or Palom, that works. I use up. <laughs> yeah. I, see if she has Mini. She might have Mini. Uh, no, she doesn't. You're gonna have to use it with Tella. Just have her, whatever, secure to everybody, or secure on everybody. See if... Just have him use whatever. Fire 2, whatever. Where the fuck's Quake Fire 2? Fire 2 is right there in the middle. Sorry, we're noobs here. God, dude, it's been a while. I think... Mini's in here. Is it a white magic? I think it is. No, I think it's... Oh, there it is. Yeah. The very bottom. That mini kind of fucks us over. Sus is gonna do a lot of damage here. Uh, every time Poram's turn comes up, make sure you're using Cure Two. Mm. I'm gonna fight with him. See what he does. I won't do shit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that last thing is pretty. What? The lot is pretty good. Oh yeah, it's fun. With four people, it's kind of intense. We blaze through it. What are you using? I just use fire one. Oh my god, use fire two. I didn't see his fire too. I don't see his. It's fire. at the very bottom. Shit. Oh, okay. You can just spam fire three or whatever. It doesn't like this is after this fight. It's just this yeah, is yeah. not like a. Kia. Queer. This is a decent amount of damage, but we're really a high level right now. So off screen, I got them to tw level twenty three. The two twins. <laughs> that way. What oh, the hell? Cool. Yang. Yang uh, got some more a little health increase apparently. Probably only for the battle when we fucking yeah, get it. Yeah, like, I know. Shitty. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I got him up to 23. Uh, Palum learns Quake at that point, which is a really good spell. And you, eh, you don't really have to have him do it. Why aren't you attacking with... Who was that? Oh, that was her. Yeah, dude. It was fire, too. Directly done. Two done. Okay. They're in kind of an order. I don't think Palums are, but Talas are. Spam that fire, too! I think he actually has a decent amount of health. Like, probably like five grand or something. There we go. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> yeah, that battle doesn't matter at all because after that battle, you're gonna get healed anyway. Do you wanna try to do that voice or you don't remember? I'm just gonna. Uh, I think we just read it this time. I think I'm done with voices. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Cecil, what happened? After Le Leviathan attacked us, I cannot remember anything. Obviously, you suffered a slight case of amnesia and were being used by Baron. <laughs> oh, oh yes, amnesia. They uh, there's so many Final Fantasy games where they use that excuse. Do you know what happened to Radia and Edward? Ooh, good question. 
Radios followed by Leviathan. I don't know what happened to Edward. I see. Oh. Where are we? Baron, let's get a room to discuss everything. Yay, we got Yang back. Now, at this point, it would be a good idea to go do that training that I did with Yang on your team. Obviously, I couldn't do that because we hadn't recorded that far yet. But, because uh, obviously, you know, you'll be able to uh, level up Yang at the same time. Because I don't think you get, like, levels while your characters... Oh, we just went right through that girl. Oh, I guess she's going to have a chat with us as well. Or she's going to butt-fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, this is Tella, his daughter, and Edward. What? My daughter loved him enough to sacrifice her life for him. I'm sorry for your loss. I am Yang of Fabu. I see it. Ahem. I am Palom. I'm a city. A he -he. Pretty good impersonation, huh? <laughs> what? Oh no. Please don't mind him. I'm his twin sister, Porum. Hey! That kick really hurt. <laughs> Clearly kick. she kicked him. How could you let oh how could you let them play you like that? What the fuck? I don't know who on? I don't know who that was. I just said that last line. Palum apologize. No, he is right. Forgive my actions. Oh, oh he's oh I get it. He's talking about when he fought us. Oh. Well, the first thing's first, we have to find Sid. Sneaking into the castle won't be easy. <laughs> that little girl there is really oh. awkward. This is the Baron Key, of course. They must have given it to you, and they gave oh, me how you command of those guards. With this key, I believe we'll be able to find Sid. How convenient. Yay, we got the Baron Key. God, I'm getting uh, exhausted for some reason. Too much uh, castle crashers. <coughs> Uh, today, uh, I don't know how the videos are going to go up. We're probably going to save the Cash Crashers for later because the schedule... Well, I might upload on Monday, actually. Um, <coughs> but we have we just started a new four-player Let's Play. Uh, it's uh, Pretty with Castle, Castle Crashers. I love that game so much. No, it's, it's not even good. Let's Play, dude. What do you mean? It's an all-play. Let's all-play. That's what we're going to call it. I believe you need to go there. But, um, hang on. Did we, did we transfer over Yang's claws in this game? Because you wanted up, you want to equip him with the bolt claws for sure. Let's have a look. Oh, we definitely got rid of all this stuff. Oh, there's the bolt. He only has one, so don't give him anything in the other hand for now. Because we're going to go buy another bolt claw. Why? Because the next area you want to have both bolt claws. Both bolt claws. You can equip him with the other stuff though. <coughs> what, the two feathers? Yeah, want, give him something. Better than nothing. How the fuck would a feather help you out? <laughs> then none of that stuff makes sense. Well, I guess like armor does. But I think that we have an extra silver gauntlet. <coughs> God, dude. You alright there? Oh, iron gauntlets. That'll work. Give me something better. Okay, so right now we're gonna go off screen and we're gonna go. Oh, leather and bard. <laughs> you can wear bard stuff? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're gonna go off screen. We're gonna check the stores. I believe there's a thunder rod for Palum, and we're gonna get another bolt claw for. Oh, or not? I think the Baron key works on that. Try it. Yeah. Up spread. <coughs> all right, guys. We are back. We're all equipped and ready to go. Um, real quick, we gave. You can go in the door. It's that door right there. Yeah. While I talk to them. Uh, we gave Palum the thunder rod. We just bought one of those. Uh, Yang has two bolt claws. Yang also has I the kaipo. Armor. This place isn't too bad. Uh, the Kaipo body armor, the headband, and we gave him a silver gauntlet. So <coughs> some easy treasure right there. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Yeah, I think is it just a thunder attack or I don't know what it is. Okay, uh, real quick. No, none of these are okay. You want to just spam a uh, bolt two on him with somebody, but just have them attack. Yeah. You can probably just kick him with Yang. That way, you'll, you know, weaken him a little bit, and then bolt two. I did figure out that um, the, the move Psych, have you used Psych before? Uh, it um, steals MP from the enemy, which is really useful. I was using it when I was training. It's fair, it's, eh, it, but don't, if you use it on Undead, it actually, <laughs> you lose MP. So, that's just a little tip there. Um, real quick, there are some, uh, I say that a lot, real quick. There are some uh, fish in, in here that are called electric fish, and they actually absorb uh, lightning, so you don't want to use any thunder moves on them. Oh, cool. Yes. Oh, Have him attack the worm. He'll probably kill him one shot. This wave doesn't do shit for damage, so not too bad. Every This is what I did when I was in here. Oh, I would, uh, I'd have 
pour them whenever her come, turn comes up. I'd have her use the Kira Rod, have him use the Thunder Rod, and have Tella use like Bolt one or two. The fuck's the Thunder Rod? I just attack her. You go to item, and then you throw like throw it at him, and then hit up, and click on it, and then you can use it on all of them or just one of them. I can just use it on all of them. It'll do decent damage. Same thing with her. You can use the Kira Rod. And then just have Tella use like wait uh what the hell? He's using that a lot. What wave? Yeah. Like, he's getting a lot of turns. I'm gonna have him use bolt too, and then she kill everything. Uh this place isn't too long, so you can probably just go all out with your MP, but I like to conserve it as much as I can. Jesus. Have my tech. Oh I die. He's they're dead now. No. Yeah, yeah, they should be. Oh, apparently not that guy. Yeah, he's gone, man. Cecil destroyed him. Yeah. Um, real... I, I was about to say real quick again. Uh, <laughs> um, what, if you do want to train, um, go up to... What was the last place we were at? Mount Hobbs. And there's some enemies called... Just the same thing, use Bolt. Yeah. Uh, there's some enemies called... Oh, God, what are they? They're like the snake ladies. I don't remember what they're called. We saw them in the video, I'm pretty sure, well, last time we played, but they give you 600 experience by themselves, and then if you fight them with two skeletons, they give you, I believe it's around 900 X XP, so it's a really fast way to level up. Uh, if you go to the very top, they're, I think they're like a common enemy to run into. So there you go, if you want to train. You can start, once we get low on health, uh, have, have her start using Cure 2 every one of her turns. If you notice, Cure 2 only uses a MP, so you can use it a lot before you run out of MP. What the hell? No. Okay. That was weird. Oh. So you said, like, oh. I couldn't use Bolt. They're probably a little further on it. There's a lot of secret passages in this place. Yeah. Like, right here. Uh, if you go south, uh, I think you might have to go south, but um, this is how you get to the items. You go south, I think you go, like, right, and then down. You work. You make your way to the left. Yeah, there you go. Hourglass, and then you go south from there, I believe. You have to go around to the left. I don't know, it's weird, you just kind of have to fill your way out. Yeah, all the way back. No, I don't know if you do. Uh, yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Sorry. We didn't run into any enemies down here. Oh, <laughs> cool. Just... Oh, a new enemy. These guys are actually weak to ice, so, yeah. The thunder, the normal thunder techniques don't really work on them. And they're weak as balls. Uh, those ones are. There's uh, one later, but they get two attacks, which is really annoying. So just, you can just, like, probably hit them with ice one and it'll probably kill them. Yeah, the two attacks thing is really annoying. Especially when they target your weak guys. Your uh, mages. Do, 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 do. Hell yeah. Uh, let me check the time real quick. So I can see it from here. Ooh, uh, we're pretty high, but let's go through like finish this area out. Yeah, yeah, now you gotta head this way. I believe it's to the right. Okay, okay we're back. Uh, this one just crocodiles, no big deal. Yeah, another secret passage. Ooh, cool! <laughs> Here's the electric fish. Okay, so yeah, these guys are actually pretty tough, and they don't go down in just one shot. Uh, yeah, they at least kill off the crocodile. You basically just want to hit them with whatever, it doesn't really matter. Usually physical attacks will kill them pretty fast. But yeah, spells, like, the electric doesn't work, I think they absorb it, I and do I don't think so fire works very good either. Just have them use, like, a fire or ice or something. At least do some damage. And just have these guys attack, yeah. And they should be dead here. Mm, they have quite a bit of health. Oh. I think they're, like, like the, the fish, the pikes, I think, are the regular ones, the piranhas are the next, and the electric fish are, like, the third stage of these oh, guys. Oh, yeah. I think that's how it works. I hate these things. Just, uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say just to use your uh, ice one or something. I have a really bad habit in Final Fantasy games of using, like, trying to conserve my MP too much at the. Oh, a new enemy. Uh, to the point where, like, I don't know. Like, it takes me forever to beat enemies. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of that. I don't know. Yeah. I think these guys you can use Bolt on, but I'm not sure. I be Okay, and real. <laughs> real quick. God, that's gonna be annoying. Uh, <laughs> um, whenever you have like a, a lightning rod equipped on one of your guys, it increases their regular spell damage as well. So his bolt spells will do more damage now too. Like right there, 1500. 
I don't know, I really like this game when you get five members on your team, it's really fun. Yeah, it is. Like, that's probably my favorite part. Oh, I didn't know about that. We skipped up that item, but it was just a piece of shit item. I think we're coming up on a... Uh. Oh, we haven't seen this formation yet. So, I do Ice 2 to start out with, just to get rid of that crocodile. If I were you. I guess you could do Bull and get rid of the Hydro, so... Yeah, it doesn't Either way. matter. Yay! Those freaking worms. Yeah, I hate that fucking attack. I mean, it doesn't do much damage, but if he f gets to attack that often, it's annoying. When I was training, you know how I was saying I absorb uh, MP with Tella? Yeah. It's so hard to do it, though, because he's slow as shit. Like, he goes last every fucking turn. Yeah. He gets a. Uh, and he has shit for MP. Yeah. He ne uh, just so you guys know, he never goes above 90, so you can never cast Meteor with him in battle. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like, because they say he's like too old to use it, I think yeah. they're trying to like, it's kind of like a symbolism for that or something. Okay, uh, I believe we're, the healing spot is near, but you, go get that real quick, I think that was a good item. No, I think, I'm thinking of something else, but that, you still should be Oh! Ooh, guard. guard, that means we're getting close now, to Now, I would, uh... Shit. I'm Don't attack the guard. Oh, because he's going to mini you. He's okay. just like those guards we fought earlier. Uh, what oh, I didn't win, though. Uh, just kick. You can probably finish off that guard. When you use moves that like aren't um, just a physical attack, they usually don't counter you with their like mini or shit like that, you know? Yeah. Oh, cool. Did you bolt? Yeah. I think, there was I, think I, I, think I did. I think we've seen... Um, oh, and Tangle. I never saw that. Um, I think we've seen pretty much all the enemies in here. Yeah. I think that guard was the last guy. Well, that means we're getting close to the end, aren't we? Yeah. Because the guards are close uh, to the We're at like three fourths, I think. We're coming up on a healing point. Yeah, oh, God. Heck. Alright. Uh, oh, it's just another. I was thinking of an uh, item in the next place. There's a little healing spot. Alright, uh, to the left we go. No, no, go to the left, because it's the same point. Uh, that's a door? Yeah. That's like a door, dude. Okay, uh, so we're definitely going to call it an episode here. We'll save off screen, heal, and all that good stuff. Uh, but this has been the Warrior 84. Trash Man 40. And we'll see you guys when we finish off the, what's this place called? The Waterway or something? Waterway, yeah. Alright, we'll see you then. Bye.